All right, today we're going to be drawing a little llama. I was inspired by a book I read to my little girl called Llama Llama, and I thought, hmm, maybe I'm going to draw my own llama today. Um, and some extra things I wanted to add were some cactus and some fun little glasses to put on my llama. So if you need to come back to this page, you can also show it again um, when we go to make the cactus and when we go to make um, the glasses. So go ahead and get a pen foil and a piece of paper, and let's get started. All right, so first we're going to do is we're going to draw our llama. And how to draw our llama is I like to start in the middle of the paper so it points to the middle. So this is kind of the dead middle. So here, here, right in the middle. And you're going to draw a circle. Um, it's just the easiest thing to kind of start with the mouth. Um, and so the circle should be, um, well, about the size of a quarter. So if you go like this, like make the OK sign about the size of a quarter right in the middle. About like that. Then we're going to go ahead and draw the nose of our llama. So we're making like a downward almost V shape, but it's a little bit wider than the letter V. Then we're going to come straight down and make a backwards letter J. Oh, that's not backwards. That's regular. <laughs> and now we're going to make a backwards letter J. After we make that, we're going to do a little arch here. So it swooshes in for the mouth. Okay, so now we have a little mouth for my llama. So then we're going to go above here, a little up and to the right, and we're going to do almost an ovally shape like this. That's one eyeball. We're going to go the other side, make an oval shape like this. That's another eyeball. And guess what? Mine aren't the same size. It's not perfect. It's okay. It's a beautiful oops, right? We're just going to work with it. So I'm also going to do a half circle here. We're doing different eyes today. These are kind of like fun cartoony eyes. And then another little half circle up there. Down here, a little half circle here and a half circle up here. Now we're going to color in between, shade it with your pencil. All right, and then we're going to give little eyelashes. So a little flick, 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 three again. Little flick, flick, flick. All right, so now we have the eyes. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the glasses to go on top. So let's think of what kind of glasses we might like. Um, I think I'm going to draw kind of something like this, this fun one. You can even do just like little circle like Harry Potter type glasses. These are like aviators. Any type of glasses you like, you may put on top. All right, so for my glasses, what I'm going to do is I like to start with the shape. So I'm going to make like almost a drop here and come back this. It almost looks like a teardrop to the side. And I'm going to come over here, this side, and make a teardrop. And remember, it does not have to be perfect. It's okay. We're trying our best. All right. Then we're going to come over here to the side and go following the shape here, over for like the brim above your nose, and then over. So it's like a line, bump, line, trying to mimic the shape. And again, if you just want to do a simple like circle, circle, bump, and bump, those are super cute too. Okay, whatever works for you. Then I'm going to come down here and down here. And then follow this down and up. Do a bump. Down and up. And over. So I have some glasses on my little llama. All right, now we need to actually make the head. So we're going to start above here. This is kind of where the ears are going to be, right here. Um, so we're going to make sure we come to that. So maybe we should start with our little ears. So you're just going to kind of come up. And over and here up and over they're just little ears and I like to do a little line and down a line down almost like upside down letter B and then we're gonna go bump, 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 bump. after we do that we're gonna come down to the side a little bit bump up up make sure it goes below kind of where that mouth is and here bump 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 below where that mouth is and then for here, you can either go bump, 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 all the way down, but I only kind of want his head to have like little bumps, and then his neck, I'm going to make kind of like this longer hair. So I'm going to, we're going like almost a straight line down, but a little bit outward. I'm just going to flick my pencil, flick my pencil, flick, flick, flick. So we're just kind of flicking our pencil down, again, trying to angle a little bit outward, flicking it down. So it gives the idea of like longer hair. All right, now our llama is going to be super cool and have kind of these little beads on her or him. Some dress kind of like necklace type thing. This is going to be double layered. So one line, double line, and we'll do a single line going back. Okay, so on this first one, we're just going to draw simple little circles, or you can draw whatever you like. We're making these kind of like necklaces. On this next one, I'm just going to do some zigzags. 
on the bottom one, let's do some bumps. And then these little tassels. Okay. All right, so now we kind of have the llama right now, and I want to add something to the background. So I think I'm going to add some cactus. So I'm going to add one tall one here, but not too tall because I don't want to take away from my llama. And then maybe like some fun little shapes over here. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my paper, and I'm going to go up, over. Whoop, I went off my page, which is fine. And I'm going to bring it back down. So I came back on my page a little bit. So a little bit got on my page. Some of it's off. Then I'm going to bring an arm up, over, goes into my llama, pick up my pencil, bring it back down like this. So it's almost like he's hugging my llama, my little cactus. Then I'm going to draw some lines down like this. Here. And I'm going to draw some prickers. Maybe put a little flower on top of this guy, which is my squiggly flower, because right now cactuses, they are in bloom. Draw on these spikes. All right, now let's go to the other side. So we can draw some more cactus. And I think I've drawn whatever you like on this side. We have ones that are like this, succulents, different things, different ways to draw them. There's no one way to do it. So you decide how you want to draw your next little one. I think I'm going to decide to not do a cactus, but to do kind of like a spiky succulent. So I'm just going to come up and down, up and down, up and down. Maybe one more here. Maybe one more there, one more there, something like that. And then what I might do is come in here and draw some lines. Little lines on the inside. All right, so now it's time to color it in. So the next step we're going to do is I'm going to hit the pause button and grab the rest of our materials and then we're going to start to color in the outside and then the inside as well. So sometimes I don't know until I'm actually doing the artwork exactly what I want to do with the drawing portion of it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline all my lines in a Sharpie marker just so they stand up a little more. And I'm going to leave my llama white, and I'm going to color in these detailed bright colors, and these are going to be green, so then I can put a really fun, funky color in the background. All right, so let's go ahead and go over your lines. And again, it could be with a, um, a dark um, black pencil. You could do it with a dark crayon, a marker, um, or you could just leave it as it is and then color it in. So go ahead, let's outline all of our lines with whatever you'd like. So if you didn't already hit pause, make sure you hit pause and go ahead and do your black outlines. Make sure you have everything in black. And then we're going to go ahead and don't forget to erase our little pencil lines. All right. And then we're going to leave our llama white so it pops out more. So let's go ahead and start coloring in. Now, you can decide to color in with markers, crayons, color pencils. I'm going to use a variety. I want my glasses to really just stand out. So I'm going to use orange and go in and color my glasses with a marker. But I think I'm going to do most of my stuff. I think everything on the llama, I'm going to use a marker with so it stands out. And then in the background, I'm going to use color pencils. But as I said, really any material that you have at home will work. So you decide what you would like and what you have accessible. Okay, I'm going to come in here and color in some of these different things here. Remember leaving that llama white, but maybe I'll make his little mouth pink there. And you know what? You can kind of follow the line. Just go over that black line with pink if you have it. Make that pop out. And do some yellow. You don't have to color like me. However you like to color, please feel free. I do these tassels. Orange, could alternate colors too. Orange here. Okay. 
All right, so now a bunch of the cactus. Um, I do want it to stand out, so maybe what I'll do is I'm going to follow these black lines on the outside. I'm going to go over each black line with a green marker if you have it. If you do not have a green marker, then push hard with your color pencil. So go really hard with your color pencil along this line. So if you don't have a green marker and all you have is color pencils, then I'm going to show you how to do it with the color pencils on this side. So what I do is I'd go over my black lines and just push harder with my green pencil along the edges on the black lines, where we see the black lines going over them. So pushing a little harder. And then I'm going to lightly fill in the inside with it later. So you can see that's the effect with the color pencils. Or you can do it this way. And then I'm going to actually use color pencils to fill in between. All right, so go ahead and color in these guys and then wait a minute for the background. I'm going to hit pause. Now for the background, I really wanted to do something bright and vivid, so I'm going to try some different colors. I'm going to select four colors, so think of four colors that might help pop this out. Um, and I didn't like my dark blue, so I found a, um, a highlighter in my house that I'm going to use. So these are the four colors I'm going to use for my background. And we're going to kind of block it off into different sections. Now you can use your pencil first to draw this out if you'd like. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our pencil. And I'm going to start with drawing just a line straight across here. That's one, two, a little bit down there, three, and another one lower four. So it's almost like one, two, three, four, five sections of your paper. So try to only draw four lines going down your whole paper because we don't want this to be too um, too much going on. So I'm going to start with doing an up, down, up, down, zigzag line for my first section. Follow that again. Do the best you can. After I do the zigzag, I'm going to do another line here to kind of make it a double line so it separates these two. And then I'm going to draw a little diamond shape. Diamond. Three diamonds. So I can get another half of one in here. And then draw it again and again. Kind of like an Aztec. You can draw some more different lines if you like. I'm going to do another spacer here because we're going to go to the next one below. And I'm going to just do triangles for this one. We're not going to see it too much because it's kind of behind here. So I'm only going to really draw lines. It's kind of hard to see, so it's okay to have it just very minimal. And this you don't see too much either. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just do little lines like this behind. And then we've got one more down here. Maybe I'll do these little Square shape. Oops, sorry. But it's really hard to see down there. Um, you also don't need to do pencil if you don't like at this point. It's up to you. Um, I am not going to outline these since this is in the background. You can decide later if you want to go back and outline. And then let's go in and color. So each section you can color however you'd like. And let's go see how your background looks. So I'm going to use markers because I really want mine to pop out. But again, if you don't have markers, use whatever you have. So at this point in time, go ahead and color your background, and I'm going to hit pause, and when I come back, my background will be all finished. All right, so um, I did really try to stick to just using these four colors in the background, but you can do whatever you'd like, and if you feel like your background, you want to go in and outline these um, with a black outline, you can. But I think I'm happy and I'm finished, and if you guys like it, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.